you doing, everybody? Welcome back to another weeknight edition of Poolside Cigar Reviews with Kirk. Tonight, I am uh, enjoying the end of my week. It's Friday night with a Cuban Bolivar Royal Corona. Nice little Robusto style stick. Cuban Puro, partially box pressed. Beautiful cigar. Um, fairly young. I don't remember the box date off the top of my head. Somewhere around, at this point, probably a year old. Pairing perfectly with the Highland Park 18 year. Almost, almost done with this bottle. It might not, might not make it past the weekend. But, uh, perfect pairing. Boy, the sherry, this really brings up the sherry notes in this Highland Park. Wow. You know, if you've watched a lot of my videos and seen my commentary on Cuban cigars, you know, I, I tend to think that Cuban cigars are a little bit overrated, and a little bit overpriced. Um, in my experience, have some quality control problems. But, uh, you know, I fell into a box of um, Royal Coronas a few months ago, a box of 25. And I've probably had... Uh, Maybe over a dozen, I don't know, probably a little over half the box. And uh, just smoking them sparingly here and there. And this has been just a fabulously constructed cigar. Uh, I haven't had a plug draw yet. Uh, the burn is, is just perfect. Um, really, really nicely constructed cigar. Full of that Cuban twang, good rich flavor. It's got that earthy Cuban twang. Um, and even for so young, a good depth of flavor. Uh, I really enjoy this cigar. The other thing that's notable about this for me is that I'm not really sensitive to nicotine. And this is one of the few cigars that uh, I actually feel by the end of it. Um, which is surprising. Because again, I just I don't feel like... Again, I'm not a, I'm not a good judge. Cause I'm not really sensitive to nicotine, but I just don't feel like Cuban cigars are really that full bodied or full strength. But uh, but this one, I'll I'll feel this one sometimes. So you know, of all the Cuban cigars I've had, this is just head and shoulders above the rest. I mean, I've had some great, you know, Epicure Speciales. Um, you know, I, I've had any number of Cuban blends that have been fantastic, but consistency has struggled. But, you know, these Royal Coronas, at least the box that I got, is uh, very nice. And, you know, if they all burn like this, smoke like this, this is a cigar worth having. Lots of rich, rich smoke. Beautiful. And you just can't argue with the Hello Park 18. Got a little bit of scotch mist going on. I don't know if you can see that. I put a, just a dash of spring water in here. Mm. You know, I've been drinking less scotch lately. I've been drinking a lot more beer. Uh, and I, I really don't know why that is. But, uh... I suppose it's because, uh... Christmas is come and gone, and I do I drink a lot of uh, winter warmers and Christmas ales. I like that stuff. So, you know, I had a big Christmas party, and uh, and I had a bunch of Christmas beer left over. So that's kind of what I've been drinking, but still have plenty of good scotch in the cabinet. And um, you know, beer pairs nicely with cigars too. Uh, you know, scotch is great, but beer pairs well, wine pairs well. You know, just. Drink what you like. You don't have to drink the same thing all the time. Anyway, I hope life is good. I might start popping in and making these short videos just to say hi. Not really producing much. Um, haven't really been in the mood to do many full reviews. There's, I have a list of things I would like to review, but just, you know, when it comes down to it, I just end up not doing it, you know. I just, it seems like every weekend I've got other things going on. Um, you know, my daughter's getting ready to turn five years old, so, you know, we're out and about, staying busy. Oh. 
Anyway, I hope life is good for you guys. But I will say this is a this is a pairing that I wanted to share because this this is really one of those just gold star perfect cigar pairings. Now this is probably I mean this could this could be all time top five. I mean they're just these these two bring out so much in one another. This is I mean I've said before and I I'll stick by it. A good cigar and a, and a good beverage will pair nicely together generally. Um, so it's not rocket science. However, there are just certain pairings that really just they just complement each other so well that they're worth they're worth noting, and this is one. All right, everybody, I'll leave you with that. Like I said, I just wanted to keep this short. So until next time, keep your feet in the pool, a drink in your hand, and a cigar in your mouth. Hope life is good, everybody. Take care.